Hey there everyone, Trentia here, and welcome back to Persona 3. So in the last episode, uh, we got a dog on our team now. Did you see that one coming, buddy? Because I sure didn't. So we're going to make a quick pit stop over to the shrine today. And yeah, there's Coral looking cute as ever. <laughs> um, yeah, so I, I, I literally walk out of the place just to go use the fast travel menu. Ingenious. Because we need to uh, activate a flag, and I'm really hoping that we can actually do that. So, if we walk over here to the shrine, we see striped shirts sitting over here. Uh, that's kind of a weird thing to... Okay. The young man must be intrigued by you because of your impressive academics. Uh, how far apart are they? You get hit on the head. <laughs> that works. The thin young man seems happy for some reason. Oh. If you had something to write them down, we'll have to write them down. I have a fountain pen that uses red ink. Oh, okay. Blood red. Uh, yeah, okay, dude. My friend is my supporter, my spokesman, and my friend who ever have disappeared. Oh, your screams are silence? Isn't that a... Um... So yeah, his fountain pen's missing. I can't go back to the dorm so it'll become nighttime. So we are trapped in this eternal hell where we have to go do what we have to do and I just gotta hope to God I can get it tonight. I will talk to Koro every single day until I get this pen. Because you cannot continue, or you can't even start his social link if you do not have the pen. And this is where I managed to find out some very interesting things about this game. Uh, anyways, I actually need to go fuse a persona before I continue further. Let me see if I can actually even make a persona of this arcana. Okay, so I have to be level 39 to even make a star persona, so... Uh, hey, Yamamoru, you can really easily miss him, especially if you come from the other way. So, th this is where he's sitting. So yeah, let's go eat, man. Sure. Okay, whatever. 100 laps around the city, that sounds insane. Yeah, so this is a courage check. It would appear after that dialogue. Yeah, so I really hope you like people eating. I feel like the majority of social links take revolve around someone eating food. I mean, uh, I, I, uh, actually, I'm, uh, what's my eating strategy? Uh, we're gonna just, we're just gonna swallow the damn thing whole. <laughs> yeah, no, well, yeah, a lot of these just take place around eating, now that I think about it. It's kind of insane. Whoa, you're, you're, you're copying me, bro. How dare you copy me? Well, we finish at the same time. I guess so. I expected to lose, actually. Oh, good. Stay off your game, then. Did I have a choice? Really? Like, outside the fact that I could have said no, but did I really have a choice about challenging you in this? Anyways, Mamoru recognized our potential. Star athlete Mamoru Hayase has become an acquaintance. So, yeah, another social link. It's here. <laughs> He's the star of this game. Sure. Okay, I'm gonna go home. So yeah, as far as star, uh, the star social links go, I think it's it's Mamoru is probably at the bottom of the list. Welcome back. In fact, you could even look at the releases of Persona games from three to five, and that's typically what I think the ranking is from lowest to the highest. Because I'm sorry, Ufumi Togo is fucking great. Uh, anyways. Yeah, what about Gormar? We're gonna pet him, right? Yeah? So, yeah, we, uh, essentially what's happening here is that we're being told that we can walk Koro tonight. So, we will do that eventually. Uh, maybe he's not here. 
That son of a gun isn't over here. All I want to do is just get this damn fountain pen. Really, all I want to do. And I doubt he has it here. Oh, there we go. You spot something under Court Mara's paw. Would you like to pick it up? Yes. Yes, I would. Yes, I would. Oh, my God. It's a red fountain pen. So, yeah, I, I mentioned it before, but you need that to continue the social link with Stripe shirt over there. And if you don't have it and you try to force the thing to happen, you will get transported to a, a, a cutscene in November. It's hilarious. Anyways, uh, I guess I should save before going to Tartarus. Yeah, so it's Tartarus time. Uh, well, you know me. I'm gonna play Metal Gear Solid until I get to the next floor where a boss is, and that's floor 98 in this case. Uh, I guess I'll also show the wall coming down, because I'm a huge fan of the wall coming down. Let's make a little bit of a run, shall we? So here we are at floor 89, where the wall was. And, uh, I mean, this is still the same thing, it's just, we're gonna be going to, uh, Yaba Sha 2. So, it's gonna be more of the same? Yeah, more of the same. More enemies than usual, or just something different? Don't care. See you on floor 98. So, uh, I fought a Crimson Shadow. I was feeling cocky, and I got a level 5 experience boost. That's hot. Oh, that's hot. Alright, so here we are, Floor 98. I got a team of Junpei, Koro, and Mitsuru. Now, you may realize that one of these things is not like the other, but there's actually more in common than you think. Also, I guess I should uh, put someone on who does decent with fire. <laughs> I love how I still have Huapo here. Uh, I should really get rid of her at some point. Asadi. Hmm. Actually, well, I guess no matter what, it's going to be kind of bad, but in a perfect world, I will not take damage during this fight. Here they are. They're disgusting. This one's dangerous. Stay focused. Alright, so we'll just go ahead and do a scan. Won't forget to do that. Uh, Mitsuru is going to be on heal slash support. Junpei and Goromaru are going to be on knockdown. So I'm debating if I want to uh, attempt to just Miragi or if I just one by one Agalow them. Eh, I'll just try this for the first turn and see how it nets me. Yeah, I expected that. Oh, don't do that. You're gonna fucking heal him. I hate you. Alright, Junpei, just do me a favor and knock them all down, will you? I mean, as you can see, Junpei's not having a real good go of the damage department. Uh, I'm not gonna all out attack. I'm just in the business of having them not do anything. Oh, but they're getting up. <laughs> yeah, I love Koro's for soda. Oh, I, like, I don't want to deny the dog. Oh, don't whimper, it's fine. I'm sorry. I haven't known though that one of them is just kind of in between our turns. I mean, whatever. F you, Mitsuru, you can do anything again. I'm gonna cry. Nope. Huh? Why not? Not doing that. Sorry, dude. Just gonna wait. Don't I have you on heal slash support? What are you doing? Okay, so one go gets up after this turn, anyways. But that means they're gonna have a move if they do that. So re realistically, well, wait, because then the other two go after Koro. So there's like no good time to do an all out attack. I guess after my turn would actually be the best. All right, let's just I'm still thinking. get the vibe check here. <gasps> the enemy. Yes, then Korumaru hit some. I relent. 
Koro Chan whimpers, those two get up. So yeah, as long as everyone's down after my turn, we can probably get away with doing an all-out attack. Because then it immediately goes, well, mid is gonna fucking do something stupid. Uh, as you can tell, I'm a little bit salty about the events part that are taking place right now. Alright, let's see if I regret this. It wasn't exactly spectacular damage. Okay, essentially as long as Junpei knocks down... I think this is one of these tags right now. As long as he gets this one every time... We're fine. So then we don't do it. And then Koro's like, hey man, I don't think so. And then Koro turns in a bark. So yeah, I, I'd say more so than in my Persona 4 playthrough. Uh, you, you really just start getting the hang of all of the, the patterns that you will be uh, dealing with as you go along in a fight. So like, all these Tartarus Guardians, there's like a very strict thing you just do every single time. Okay, one's dead. So I mean, maybe cause I don't know, I don't know which one died actually. I'm just gonna rewind just in case. That's what I thought. So we're going to end this on Koro's command. Let's fucking go, Koro. Hell yeah. Good job, boy. Man, I got so much more experience from that one Crimson Shadow with the five card experience. No one levels after that, huh? I feel a little cheated, to be honest. Uh, anyways, I'm gonna go dump my friends, and then I'll meet you back on floor 110. We're finally covering, or going to the triple digits. It's gonna be great. So my controller died <laughs> when I was trying to get up here. Thankfully, it died on a staircase, so I was fine. Anyways, floor 110. Party consisting of Yukari, Akihiko, and Igus. Oh, that's right, I need to equip my uh, weapon. I mean, that 30 SP is going to be sorely missed, but yeah, I kind of need that stupid charm resist. So this boss fight can be a bit of a pain. Um, <laughs> uh, there's a few ways to take care of this, and I guess I should get a, my persona that I need first. Because, uh, who, know, who knew that having Windbreak was actually going to be handy? It's Arcana, it's the lovers! It's a strong foe! I am equipped with a special function. It is called Orgia Mode. Would you like more information on it? Uh, just for the sake of the Let's Play, I'll say yes, please. In this mode, my limiter is temporarily disabled. Thus, my offensive capability increases significantly. However, since my inhibition logic is disabled as well, I am entirely autonomous during that time. Furthermore, once Orgia mode has been activated, it cannot be cancelled until I overheat. Then, a cooldown period is required before I can resume normal operation. Orgia mode only lasts for a short while, so timing is crucial. That concludes the tutorial. Would you like me to repeat it? I don't think I ever used Orgia mode. The command to activate Orgia mode can be accessed via tactics. So we're gonna scan this, of course. Uh, I guess it's going to be set on full assault, while Akiko and Yukari will be on heal slash support. So essentially, 
we're, we're hoping that this guy doesn't use Sexy Dance immediately. However, what we will be doing is casting Windbreak. So that way, Yukari can just do damage. Okay, good. Actually, excellent that that just occurred. It must be imminent. So, yeah, don't get nothing. Go figure. <laughs> Hiko's just gonna heal himself. Hang in there. So, what we're hoping for here is that um, he's gonna do it again. Especially now that he uh, casted, or now that we have the windbreak on. We throw the magic mirror on. Okay, so that's I guess broken. Oh yeah, there's very something very important I have to see first. Uh, I guess I think it was me and then the boss and then yeah, so me boss and then I guess this is extremely important because this boss has Tetracarn, which will deflect a physical attack. And I guess has a high resistance to pierce damage. So essentially, if this boss ever casts Tetracarn, you just hit Rush right before I guess's turn, so she'll just do a basic attack and take little to no damage. Or she'll take some damage, but it won't be a lot. Um I really don't want to switch personas to do an attack, see how I'm literally about to have to do it again, so I'm literally just going to waste a Garula gem. Okay, so that's I guess and Akihiko done. Yeah, get that defense down, buddy. Should have done that a minute ago. Hang in there. Oh, I guess another thing I should mention. Um, I guess this is, this is more or less. Uh, actually, did it wind resistance go back down? I don't know. I'm just gonna do it again. Oh, already in effect, so I can't do it again. Cool. Um, the way spells work for overwriting. Oh, so it was after my fucking turn. Well, at least she did it to Akihiko. That's really unfortunate timing, to be honest. Uh, so, like, skills will overwrite skills. Like, I, I don't know, I mean, of course. Uh, but I guess really this, like I said, this more or less applies to, uh, Persona 3 Portable, where you actually get to see your teammate skills and garbage of that nature because for instance even if like you you had seven out of eight skills oh a kick of charmed that's not great well, at least he's in his right mind still uh jesus let me finish a thought before anything else Actually, how is Queen Mom on this? Uh, I really should probably just re-magic mirror, because that just hit everyone. Uh, sorry, Jesus. So yeah, let, let's say you have seven of your eight spells for your teammate. Uh, it doesn't matter if you get an eighth skill. So like, you know, friends like having like Dia and Diorama, uh, it will just rewrite the skill. That's what we're looking for. That was, that was precisely what we were looking for. It must be eliminated. I'm debating if I want to use another magic mirror just in case. Probably for the best. But uh, that was the absolute best case scenario. Is it using Magarudine and uh, essentially owning itself? We'll do it again. Uh, you know, if it uses Sexy Dance, it's not like it's the end of the world. It's a bit sad. But, I mean, at the end of the day, it's charm that you're not getting afflicted with. I'm really hoping Yukari gets Gorilla soon. It. So we have, I think, a turn before this goes down, so let me just actually do a damage dealing attack. Uh, unfortunate. That would have killed it. Oh, it's it's so close to being dead. Hang in there. Yes, yeah, heals all around. 
I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. Uh, do I have a slash move on here? No. I guess I have a slash move on my character. Um, I'm actually curious. What, do I have anything? Of course I don't. Uh, I'm just trying to think here a little bit about who I want to perhaps maybe get a level up from this. Um, whatever. I'm just going to do this and I'm just going to Gale Slash and then uh, we'll cry later. Right? Is Gale Slash overkill? Sees how it's one enemy? Yes. Do I care? Absolutely not. Oh god. Uh, rush. Yeah, so seven damage. That's why you won I guess there. We did it. So decent experience. We're now level 34. Hit points and SP up. Nothing else though, huh? Anyone else want to level up? Anybody? No? You've gotta be joking. Yukari, did you level up? Tell me you leveled up. Oh, she gets Gorilla level 32. I feel like she did, but I don't know. Like, no one's saying anything. No, nothing else. Shut up. I guess? Uh, no, 228. Man, what the fuck? I was kind of hoping that there'd be some, like, egregious level ups. Get out, out of the way, everyone, please. Man. So, of course, seeing as how this is going to be the final climb for this section, uh, I'm going to take you with me. Yeah, way fewer enemies in this area. As it always tends to be in this. Whoa. So we won't get the advantage, this is fine. I fought a few of these already. Uh, these guys are weak to wind. So you know what I'm thinking? I have my crew here. Uh, actually, don't I have Maguru on this guy? No, it's just my boofing. Whatever. Uh, queen mob, come back out. Come get some of the glowing. And we're just gonna fucking... We're gonna fuck him up. If we miss, Yukari won't. And then we just do an all-out attack. An all oh, God. It's so much better to be able to all-out attack and kill them all. As opposed to what I had to do when I was fighting them solo and I just... Oh, wait. Fuck. I didn't actually knock them down. But I have to just, like, sit there and wait. I guess I didn't scan them. Ouchies. Oh, of course she's gonna fucking heal. I mean, good. But we could've just ended the fight. Oh, it's both of them. Oh, and you got a crit. Yeah, they won't do anything. Whatever, let's just force a shuffle time, shall we? <laughs> oh, this guy's about to get bullied. See you later, idiot. Alright, what do we got for the shuffle time? Ooh, give me those fucking wands. Fuck. Ah, uh, fucking money. Ah, damn it. But hey, Queen Mob leveled up, so we get Recarm, so if anyone goes down, I can actually just res them with magic now and not waste things. So we gotta dodge wind? Hell yeah. Yes! My skill level has increased- <laughs> And cut that bitch off next caller. Man, why- Shadows just get out of the way. I mean, I gotta fight, I guess, but Jesus. I if I took a little bit. It was a Minotaur, and uh, he did not really want to go down that much. Stupid shadows, I'm sick of shadows already. Let me leave. Fine, let's go up a damn floor. <laughs> this is like a terrible team for this. It doesn't have many enemies with it all being my gosh damn way. Ooh, ooh, I need you. I need you. No, you bitch. You fucker. Well, that's tragic. Uh, you may be wondering why I'm not just fighting things. I plan on grinding, but I like to do that all... Uh, not when I'm trying to get to the top and, like, finish a thing. I've been recording for an hour. And the sooner I can open up my door and have it have nice, cool air coming in here, and I can just, I don't know, watch a stream or YouTube video as I'm just doing shit. It's a dead end. Yeah, floor 114. So, here we go, old document 5. And this is my time to shine today, so... <laughs> Let's give it a shot, shall we? Uh, dictionary. Well, document five. 
I wanted to be with him, so I joined. What a mistake. We shouldn't be experimenting with these shadows. Huh. And you know, there's something almost a bit really tragic about um the fact that I just finished this block. Those of you who have played this game are aware that in the next block, the hardest boss... Fuck, we'll, we'll just call it the entire game just for the uh, clickbait. The hardest boss in the whole game, basically, is in the next block. But I have ways of dealing with terrorists. Let's go give Elizabeth this quest, and then I'll let you go for the time being. So, check requests. Oh, yes, I did. Yes, the fifth old document explored the third block of Tartarus. Well done, you fulfilled my request before the deadline, of course. Yeah, we do not know how high it goes. <laughs> yeah, how many floors could it possibly have? That's the question of the century. So, I'll take 120,000 yen. Yes, sir. -y. And then we may as well just register our personas while we're here. So, now is my time to just take everyone and grind. And uh, I do have two other requests. Uh, let me just get to them. Uh, so, the Crimson Shadows. Actually, I may be able to turn that in. Let me make sure. I didn't actually catch how many of the things I have. But I, I, I found three of those. I found one before I grabbed the request. And then I fought one by myself before the last boss we just fought. And then that one there. So, actually, she would have said that we've completed it. So, no shit, we didn't finish it. <laughs> so, yeah, so I guess I probably have to do at least one more of those Crimson Shadows. And then I have to uh, find at least, or defeat at least five Shouting Tiaras uh, between 102 and 113 to get five Tiaras hairs. So, as always, I'll leave you with the receipts of me finishing those requests. And then I will just see you next time to tell you everything I've done. And that's summer school. What the heck?